This truly is the year that winter just won't give up. Put my boat in the water this weekend and well, what do you know? Lake froze over again overnight. We had like minus seven degrees and we had to break through a bunch of ice just to get out to the open water. So we're just heading out right now to see if the main lake has de-iced enough for Joelle, myself and Chester to go camping. And also to see if we can catch food for tonight. We're gonna start off trolling with this deep diver here. We're gonna try a few different techniques until we find one. Big waves out here today. Where we started off, it was so calm. I wasn't expecting this, uh, this kind of chop today. So we've got the life jacket on though, just in case. The water is so cold. You wouldn't last, you wouldn't last five minutes in this. This is the jig I use, it's called a buckshot, just like a lead jig. Here we have dinner. This is called a lake whitefish and they're delicious. So this is gonna be cooked tonight. Can't wait. I think my trolling motor is out of juice. So I'm gonna have to row back home to pick up Joel and Chester. And uh, yeah, we gotta get moving. We gotta get to the campsite and get camp all set up. Two stroke. All oh, the sweet smell of two stroke. Water finally got freed up from the ice enough that we could take the boat out and finally boat to one of our favorite places to camp. We pretty well camp here every April. It's almost like our first inaugural camping of the year. It's hard to of believe. the spring. Yeah, it's hard to believe it was 30 degrees one year when we camped here in April. I know, <laughs> I know. Well, today obviously you can see that it's not 30, it's degrees. Not 30 degrees. There's ice floating everywhere in the lake. I thought. We were done with the insulated tent and done with the wood stove for the year, but tonight's gonna get down to minus seven, so we had to bust them out of storage for one last go. We're gonna go get camp set up. Uh, we'll get our tent popped up, the wood stove set, and some wood to burn. Is that where you're sleeping, Chester? That's your place? We're actually gonna set up camp in the woods and not on the beach just to avoid everything getting sandy. I know beach camping sounds like a lot of fun, but if there's sheltered woods in the back, it's always better. Oh, it's heavy. There we go. Oh, struggle. Something I've been long overdue to upgrade is my folding saw. I just picked up this bad boy this week. Pretty fired up to use it. 
Let's move it. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Can you leave? No, no, it's not for you. This one's for you. So tonight we're gonna be cooking outside. That's because last time we cooked fish inside, everything kind of smelled like fish for a week. So we learned our lesson, cook the fish outside. Probably just do everything outside tonight actually. We just got the fire cooking now. So next step is to flay the fish and we're gonna be flaying him right on top of this beautiful cooler. Jester. <laughs> Rib these. Just a don't dig. Go ahead, just dig. We'll get it. Go. Beauty. There's an extra step I like to take. You don't have to, but whitefish have what's called pin bones. You can feel them here. And I use these fish tweezers to, to pluck them out. Most of the time I find they don't actually dissolve in the cook and your best is to take them out beforehand. Chester. Just quickly pat drying these these fish. Add the spice rub. To stand really up in our fish. We got some dirt in there. That's okay. The oil will get it. Will it? We got cayenne, chili, cumin, onion, garlic. Chester, no. Pretty much Chester spit. Chester saliva <laughs> and sand. And sand. Good thing with this dry wrap is that we won't probably won't be able to tell if there's sand in it or not. Very good. We'll just mix in. I'm just gonna heat up the wraps, make them nice and crispy. First one on. Ooh, what hot. And of course we gotta feed the chesty. Gotta get the flipper. It's burning already. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm too 
nervous. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Nice. Nice job. First we got our sour cream. All right. And then we'll add our meat. It's cooked, yeah. No, I meant for bones. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right away, bones. Right away. There we go. Good spice. Yep. Our cabbage. Avocado. Very important. Cilantro. And then we add our lime. Oh. Tacos are served. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> Five star? Well, I haven't had it yet. <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. Five star view? Yes, five star view for sure. Ten star view. If there's ten stars, I don't know. Taco cheers. Good luck. <laughs> mm. yeah, pretty damn good. Very fresh. Mm. I'd say like two and a half hours ago, fresh. Mm. Typically, people would smoke white fish, but we've fried it, we've baked it, and um, well, now this is the first time I've ever had it in tacos, and mm -hmm. it's about as good as any other fish, I'd say. It's a nice white, flaky meat. It's uh, well, these are delicious. Mm -hmm. Want this? Yum. Then you first. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> okay, buddy. Gentle. Oh. Sit. Sit. Wait. Wait. Go. So we have our usual winter camping setup. We have our two um, cots, our double sleeping mat, sleeping pad, and then our double sleeping bag. So far today, only Chester has taken a polar dip. <laughs> Multiple polar dips, like seven. He was chasing loons, chasing ducks. He was chasing sticks, sticks <laughs> chasing floating ice. He's pretty pooped. And yeah, we got the fire cranked up right now. It's a really weird time of year. Obviously we're outside and no, like long sleeve t-shirts but it was like seven degrees and sunny and tonight you said it's gonna go down to minus 10 so i don't know that's spring canada for you it's a toss-up of what kind of days you're gonna get you get you know, your 20 plus celsius days and you get your minus 10s just put two more logs on the fire we're trying not to get it too hot but at the same time we know when it does eventually run out, it's gonna be cold tonight. So it's kind of like a, we're trying to like medium load it. And Chester sleeping horizontal. <laughs> I think that it's gonna wrap it up for tonight. Hopefully we stay warm, but not too warm. 
<laughs> and we will catch up with you guys in the morning. Good night. Morning. Hi. Coffee's not ready, but I know a better way that we can wake up this morning. <laughs> no. beach day buddy it's a good beach day oh. I do some more awake I'm very <laughs> <That's> awake <guaranteed. laughs> I didn't last more than a second in there but got in there quicker I than got I got in did. there very quick <laughs> I found that a lot harder than last time yeah it was a lot harder <clears throat> I wonder why ice was literally covering this lake two days ago so it's cold, cold. and it's minus six degrees Celsius. Oh, I can't wait for this coffee. Oh yeah, coffee's just about finished percolating Perfect now. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> camp all packed up we're just hanging out by the fire finishing up our coffee before we hit the hit the boat hit the water and uh head on out of here thank you guys so much for watching we hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the next one